Hi, this is Grandma with Storytime. Today we are going to read How to Babysit Grandma. Here we go. How to Babysit a Grandma by Jean Reagan, illustrated by Lee Wildish. When you babysit a grandma, if you're lucky, it's a sleepover at her house. What should you do when you get to her door? Put on a disguise and say, guess who? Knock with a secret knock, only she knows. Tap, tap, tappity tap. If you like cats, meow. If you like dogs, bark. If you like goldfish, hmm. When she opens the door, shout, Grandma, your babysitter is here. Huh. Hug your mom and dad and say goodbye. Don't be sad. I'll be home soon. Now tell your grandma all the fun things you have planned. How to keep a grandma busy. Go to the park, bake snickerdoodles, have a costume parade. Go to the park to feed the ducks, do yoga, look at family pictures. Go to the park to swing, play hide and seek, make goofy hats. Go to the park to slide, have a dancing puppet show, read stacks of books, go to the park to take photos, do puzzles, play cards. As the babysitter, you need to let her choose. Of course, she'll want to go to the park. What to do at the park? Slide down the bumpy slide and the twirly slide. If she's feeling brave, try the tallest slide of all. Push your grandma on the swing, but not too high. Remind her to pump her legs. Feed the ducks. Show her how to help the shy ones get some food. Don't forget, good babysitters always say, five more minutes before it's time to go. Back at home, plan some more fun. How to play with a grandma. Grab two microphones and sing a duet. You might want to try, you are my sunshine, or happy birthday, or make up a new song together. Line up all her shoes to play, shoe store, shoe shop. If your grandma likes fancy things, decorate her with ribbons, bows, and stickers. Shout, ta-da, when you hand her a mirror. Soon it's time for dinner. Your grandma may be a yummy cook, but she shares your tricks to make everything taste even yummier. Add sprinkles to anything, well, almost anything. Arrange the food to make silly faces. Shut your eyes as you take each bite and say, mmm, sniff, sniff. When it starts to get dark, take your grandma outside to find the first star. Back inside, snuggle up and read some books. Turn the pages slowly so she can find everything in the pictures. Ask your grandma for stories about when your mom was little. What was mom's favorite thing to do at the park? Did she ever get in trouble? Was her grandma as fun as you? Teach her how to say, I love you without making a sound. Point to your eye, to your heart, and to her. Now, let your grandma choose where she wants to sleep. Places to sleep. In a tent, on the floor, on the couch, in the little bed, in the big bed. If she asks, should we leave the nightlight on, the hall light on, the door open, 
answer. Yep, yep, yep. Once you're both tucked in, make shadow puppets. Have your shadow foxes kiss goodnight. If she's missing your mom and dad, tell her they'll be here tomorrow, bright and early. In the morning, when you hear a knock, open the door, dressed up as twins. After you're all packed up, comes the hardest part. Goodbye time. How to say goodbye to grandma. Let her borrow some sprinkles, some books, some stickers, some ribbons. Say, I love you. Without making a sound, give her a big hug and ask, when can I babysit you again? The end. Grandma loves you. And wash your hands.